TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high-quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. Guys, you may have seen the Hummer breakdown in a video on TFL Truck, but this video you're about to watch happened before the breakdown. <laughs> This is the brand new Hummer EV and a few years ago it was the most expensive truck that General Motors built. That is until this came along, which is the brand new Escalade V8 and I think this is about 150,000. Uh, correction, it's $150,500. All right, so that's not what this video is about though. We are here at the drag strip because we're going to drag race the internal combustion vehicle versus an electric vehicle. But Nathan, there's more. That's right, we have to do a benchmark in order to ascertain exactly how fast the Hummer is, and thus we shall be using the Lightning. So it's Hummer versus Lightning, winner takes on the supercharged V8. So the Hummer is bat, you know what, crazy. It makes no sense because under the hood, of course, is nothing. It's a frunk and it is GM's ultimate off-roader. But it can also be GM's ultimate dragster because, well, you can lower it in WTF mode and then you can put a thousand horsepower through all four off-road tires in a drag strip, which is mind-bendingly weird. And except for the Corvette, this has got to be the fastest vehicle that GM builds. Check out what's under the hizzy. Here we go. 452 horsepower, 775 pound feet of torque coming from absolutely nothing. That's right. It has a frunk. And by the way, I don't think Ford uses frunk very often. I think they should, but I think maybe they have to pay money for that. But regardless, it has a zero speed automatic transmission. In other words, direct drive. But most importantly, that 775 pound feet of torque, right off the line, an electric vehicle, boom, immediate power, and I don't weigh as much as Roman's vehicle, which is over 9,000 pounds. Hey Nathan, I think you're right, I think frunk is weird. Uh, I've got an idea for Ford. Okay. How about full trunk? Oh no, they're not going to like that. You don't like full trunk? No, they're, they're going to hate that. No? Because full trunk? Full? Tr I kind of like that, but they won't like it. <laughs> nice try. Trunk cord. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> All right, <laughs> those are all horrible. <laughs> or trunk. No, no. I'm out of ideas. No, dude. no, no. We, we we need to ask Andre. All right, Nathan, you ready to do this? Yeah, I mean, you're in a vehicle that costs like what, almost three times this? Well, it's just the price disparity alone is kind of scary, and then you have a thousand horsepower. Okay, so here's what my vehicle says. Vehicle will lower because I'm in WTF mode, which stands for Watts to Freedom. And then repeated use will accelerate vehicle wear. So GMC is saying, don't do this. <laughs> yeah, mine's an S. And that's that's about it. Just says S. And it's still really, really fast. So I'm, I'm not giving up completely. So you're in sport mode, huh? There's, there's no silly WTF thing going on. All right, dude. I'm just going to hit continue and we can go. All right? Oh, hold on, hold on. First, you have to put it into street mode so you go here and you've not my mode but normal mode and then here's the trick you have to hit the traction control button twice and that puts it in one all right all right my vehicle is lowering sorry this takes a while <laughs> it's going down yeah, I could see us at a stoplight. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait until the next stoplight so my vehicle can lower. Hold on, still lowering. All right, I'm ready to go. Oh, my God, oh, my God, this is crazy. Okay, oh, yeah, you got a leap on me. Holy cannoli. Whoa, you got a hell of a leap on me. Oh, go, go, go. I think I left Nathan in the dust. Oh my god, Nathan. That was crazy. 
Yeah, uh, you got a better start than me, but not by much. I mean, that you just, you pulled ahead like three car lengths and then you just sat there. Yeah, 1231, dude, 1231. There are a lot of sports cars I can't mention. That's just ridiculous. At 105, at 105 miles an hour. But then it just like killed. At 105, it just cuts power. Interesting. Well, I mean, we know that the Lightning is pretty quick. This one isn't as powerful as the one that we had, but nonetheless, you didn't beat me by that much. No, but I got television, man. That was crazy. What was your time? 13.58. Uh, the 12, dude. 12 versus 13, so that's pretty good. Yeah, but Roman, I mean, think about it. These are pickup trucks. Essentially, yours is a pickup truck, sort of. Yes, I know. Isn't that mind-blowing that we're racing pickup trucks in the 12s? Yeah, folks, this is 682 horsepower, 653 pound-feet of torque. It's coming from a supercharged 6.2 liter V8, not the regular one. This is a specially built engine. The whole thing is just specially made. And it's hooked up to a 10-speed automatic transmission and, of course, all-wheel drive. But we are at high elevation, and even though it's supercharged, I think it might have a little bit of an issue going up against the Hummer. I hope not. This is going to be fun. You know, and they're both GM products. It's kind of, uh, you know, dare I say it, the past versus the future. Well, no matter what, in one way, I've already won. I saw dude. This thing sounds incredible. Oh, I can't agree more, man. I, I, I miss that sound. My seat is vibrating right now, telling me I'm in what WTF mode, but in no way does that replace your incredible exhaust, though. That sounds like, you know, it sounds like just a bunch of uh, Hell's Angels pulled out here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm already happy about that. I'm a little concerned about the elevation and a few other things, but I'm going to do everything I can to beat you, so I'm gonna take care of all the modes. I'm about to put it in auto mode, which that and the V mode means that I should be able to do, yeah, I should be able to launch quickly. Let's do this, my man, let's do it. Okay, all right. Are you okay? Do we break anything? I'm checking right now. I see one mark, but I don't know if it's a break. Hold on. Yeah, this thing is just throws up like, I think it's tearing the pavement off actually. I think it's just a, a gooey mark. Okay, fair enough. Hey, why don't you uh, just run it on your own? Yeah. Uh, and see what kind of zero to 60 time, I mean, quarter mile time you got. I think no matter what, I would have won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. absolutely. It's you, the speed of the traction, right? So the immediate amount of torque that goes to the ground, you absolutely kill it in this stupid thing. But there's so much weight on the ground that all the tires are just chewing everything up. I think I'm tearing up the ground here with this. I literally think you're tearing yeah. up asphalt. I think I am, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that's what's I, happening. Oh, I think the best solution is just run it by itself. So I had 12.38. See if you can beat that. Okay, I'll see if I can beat all that. Right, all right, go for all it. Right. Since we're living in the real world, let's get real. Now, the sticker on a Hummer is about 110, but they're selling at about $190,000. At one point, they were double over the sticker. A uh, sticker on this, like Nathan said, is about 150,000, but dealers are asking for an adjusted markup of about 50,000. So you're also at 200,000. Now, Nathan, you have to agree, the deal of the decade has got to be this truck right here, $55,000. It is the most affordable, but the smartest EV you can buy. Yeah, and when this one came out in 2022, technically it did, it actually started at just over $40,000, and then they added some equipment. It was the deal of the century. Even by today's standards, with the price markups that Roman just mentioned, it is still, I think, the right truck to buy if you're going to get a Lightning. Yeah, look at this. So you've got almost 100 kilowatt hour battery. Right. You've got all-wheel drive. Yep. And you've got 
you know, a, a full size F-150 for, in this case, this one stickers at about $45,000, I believe. Now they upped them by 7K, but even with that addition, this is still a bargain. I agree. And it's a, just a fantastic truck. I wish it was a little faster. You know, it's strange. This is not the first time Roman's put me in a really powerful internal combustion vehicle going up and against an electric vehicle just so I can upset everybody involved who really wants the gas-powered vehicle to win. I swear to God I'm not doing this on purpose. All right. Here we go. Auto hold. Here we go. Considering how much this thing weighs and everything else, it, it's a brute, but I didn't beat your time. All right, uh, lay it on me, dude. Uh, uh, lay it on me, dude. What was your time? 13.8. 13.8, and mine was 12.38, right? That is correct, Amundo. So if I do my calculations right, if I, if I do my math right, Nathan, uh, the electric trucks both won. Yeah. Yeah. They did. They did. They did. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel really bad because everybody's going to be hating on me. You didn't launch it right, bro. You didn't hit the button long enough. Or you didn't cancel something else out or you're just too fat. All of which are true. But the point <laughs> is, is that I, I, I did try. I did put this thing in a mode that it, it really honestly is at a slight disadvantage being at high elevation, but it's supercharged, which should mitigate some of that. Look, I, I love the smell. <laughs> I love the sound. Yeah. I love like the earth shattering feel of this thing when it goes down the, straight away. But uh, let's face it, it's hard to beat instant torque. It is hard to beat instant torque. And, and for those of you guys who are saying we should have raced again, look, here's the thing. Both Nathan and I just love cars. Yeah. We, we don't like to damage them. We, you know, we treat them with respect. And there are other channels out there that, that break shit. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, there are that's channels the out there that break stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's not us. No, it's not. And on top of that, we actually want to get other vehicles from these automakers. Oh, sure, so yeah. handing them back constantly broken is an issue. Look, occasionally these things happen. We do make mistakes, but we we can avoid that here. So we're going to avoid it. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, let's put the uh, finishing times uh, down. Uh, show people what the three vehicles did. And I got to say, uh, you know, this is still a wonderful vehicle. And the Hummer's a wonderful vehicle, and the Ford's a wonder. They're all really fast. I mean, 12 and 13 second trucks. Yeah, crazy. All right, guys, check out alltfl.com. That's right, for your one-stop shopping for everything we do. Including uh, cool drag races. See you guys next time. Ciao.